A consistent question I get asked is, do I have to know how to code to use WordPress? My answer is always a resounding fuck no. I hate coding, which is precisely the reason I build websites using WordPress. Because WordPress does not require me to ever touch code. Although I won't lie, sometimes I have to, but I usually outsource that. (laughs) So back in the day before WordPress, developers and designers were the only people who could build websites because most sites, even the simplest ones, had to be built using HTML, CSS, and Flash. Today, just about anyone can use a content management system or a CMS, which is like an easy to use website builder for non-coders, which is exactly what WordPress is. Here's a glimpse of the back end of a WordPress website. Launched in 2003, WordPress began as a personal blogging platform. I first learned about WordPress around 2009 when my professor made us create a blog for a class assignment. Check out this baby. Back in the day, it was just, you know, for blogging. Today, it's the world's most popular CMS, and for good reason. Everyone, big and small, uses WordPress. As of January 2017, WordPress was used by 60% of all websites using CMSs, which is nearly 30% of all websites. And as of January 2015, more than 23% of all of the top 10 million websites on the internet use WordPress. That means 29% of all websites are powered by WordPress and people like Bloomberg, TechCrunch, BBC, MTV, Facebook, there's a whole long list. Because everyone uses WordPress and because you're interested in full stack marketing, it's safe to say you're gonna work with a client sooner rather than later whose site's built on WordPress. And it's likely that person is going to want you to know how to use it. What better way to learn how to use it than to build a simple WordPress website yourself? And it's also really beginner friendly. If you're good with the computer, then you can easily learn WordPress, especially with my help. Three, it's scalable. WordPress is scalable thanks to something called plugins, which are things you can quickly install on your site to add just about any feature your little heart can dream of. While we won't be adding a lot of functionality at this stage, your client may want to add more features later. So it's good to use. There's a ton of support for WordPress because it's so popular. It has significantly more plugins, themes, and talent ready to help in case you're stuck on something. You can literally go on Fiverr and outsource something for like $5 if you need help and actually get like a good job. There's just a massive support community. WordPress isn't just software. It's become a community. Some might even say a movement. In fact, WordCamps, which are one to three day training sessions, has sprung up all over the world. I'm sure there's one by you locally. WordPress is free to install and use. The cost comes from hosting fees like GoDaddy and Bluehost. Think of it as your online rent. WordPress is so easy to manage. It's easy to make changes to the site without having to call a developer. And because it's not scary to maintain, it's an easier sell to local business owners who don't want to pay a pricey person to maintain their website for them. Last but not least, it's responsive. Just about every WordPress theme on the market today is responsive. And ours that we're using, Jupyter, is definitely responsive meaning the site adjusts to visitor screens, making it easily viewable on all devices. So this was a short and sweet video. That's a wrap. Next, we're going to talk about the two versions of WordPress.